Hi there again. So welcome back to lesson three of module patching in Oracle Apps DBA training. And in this lesson, we are going to look at how to find Oracle patches. We'll log in to the My Oracle support and we'll also look at ADOP that is application DBA online patching highlights or the key points. But before that, let me do a quick recap on what we have covered so far in this module. We started this module with topics or lessons that we are going to cover in this module. Then we looked at what exactly a patch means and what patch brings on the table. Then we looked at different components of patches that is ADOP for 12.2 and AD patch for 12.0 or 12.1 or previous version that is 11i. We also looked at technology stack patches that is database patch, forms patch and Oracle HTTP server patch all applied using opatch and weblogic patch applied using BSU. Then we looked at different type of patches that is one-off patch, product family pack, release update pack, pre-upgrade patch, interoperability patch, NLS patch and legislative patches. Then we looked at the patch structure where we explained or I covered the zip file and the readme of the patch, the driver file that is U driver file that includes copy database and generate option. Then you have the data loader file and patch metadata. Now let's look at how to find patches in Oracle eBusiness Suite. Now in order to find the patches, either your functional team or support engineer will tell you what patches to apply. From a functionality point of view, you may not know what patches to apply. So let's suppose a functional team or the development team is hitting any problem in configuration. They will contact support and they will give you the patch number. Similarly, for application DBA related things like FND or text technology stack or application object library, any problems related to that you as an apps DBA will identify based on problems you encounter, what patches you have to apply or you can contact support. So that's one method of finding a patches for Oracle eBusiness Suite. Now how to log into my Oracle support, I'll explain in a minute. Then other option is you log into my Oracle support, go to patches and updates tab and then search for patch and or click on a recommended patch advisor. So what happens is you can search for a patch based on the modules. You can also search a recommended patches for a specific version. Now, how to do that is, this is a screenshot which you see after login to Oracle My Support or My Oracle Support. So you'll go to a website like support.oracle.com. You should have already created an account and if not create an account, attach a valid CSI. And once you log in, go to the patch tab and search on that. You can either search based on a patch number, which is on top. You can search based on a product or family, or you can search on a recommended patch and then specify product Oracle eBusiness Suite and go to the respective module. So that's one is a recommended patch advisor, or you can search based on product or family and specify product as Oracle eBusiness Suite. Specify the release number, application 12.2 or 12.1 or 12.0 or 11i. Specify or select or include or remove all product and hit search based on your platform, which or operating system, which could be Linux, Windows, Solaris or other operating system. And that is how you identify or search for patch. So let me quickly log into my Oracle support and go to the navigation path for you. So I am on a browser and I simply go to support.oracle.com. Now, as I said, you should already have a login. So you click on sign in, but if you don't have a login, you say new user register here and you register. And after registration, you need to attach CSI, which is a customer support identifier that you receive from your customer or the person who's owning that support identifier. So click on sign in. In my case, I've already logged in and I have already CSI attached to my ID. So I'll log in as my user ID and click on sign in, or you can come here and create account here as well. Now, after you log in, you will land on a dashboard 
and for patches you go and select this tab called patches and updates depending on what kind of access you have you may or may not have access to tab and if you don't have access to this patch tab that means you don't have a valid csi on that now this is what i was talking about here you can go and search for a patch number or you search based on a product or family or you can search based on the recommended patches and you specify from a product you specify oracle e-business suite so this is how you search for a patch now patch could be a generic patch which means it can be applied on any operating system or patch could be a platform specific or operating system specific but you should be able to download or when you search you, sh you should be able to see what whether it's a generic patch which means it can be applied on any operating system or it is a platform specific or operating system specific patch so this is how you search patch now once you know how to search patch and you understand the basic concept about what a patch is and what are different type of patches now let's look at the actual utility or the tool that we use to apply the patch and some of the functionality how oracle support this online patching called adop so adop as i said earlier stands for application dba online patching now adop is a utility to apply patches in oracle ebs 12.2 now in adop there are or in a patching cycle in oracle ebusiness suite that you apply using adop there are major five phases so what you do is you prepare the oracle ebusiness suite for patch you apply the patch you finalize the patch then you cut over and clean up the oracle ebusiness suite environment after patching unlike previous version of patching that is applied using ad patch environment remains open for most of the time in when you apply a patch using adop so if you see the red sign here only during this phase of patching that is a cutover phase your application is not available and that's minutes so the time it takes to restart services and do a switch off file system that we'll look at in a minute what the switching of file system means so most of the time during when you apply the patch the environment remains open for end users it's only during the cutover phase of that patching cycle the environment is not available that's minutes or the time it takes to switch the file system between patch and run and switch the database addition from between the run to patch and restart services that's a time the environment will not be available now how you do that or what are the functionality or what are the two important things which are required or are supporting this online patching are dual file system and addition based redefinition which we'll look at in upcoming slides now when you apply the patch this patch application could be in interactive mode or non interactive mode what does it mean is when you run adop it's going to prompt you some questions or you can answer all those well in advance in a text file and you supply that text file so that it is in a non interactive mode now this is how you apply patch or this is the usage of adop we'll also look at when we log into the servers while applying I'll apply a patch and that time I'll explain that again but what you do is you say adop and then space and then you say phase is equal to you specify which phase you can do only one phase at a time that is prepare and the next apply or finalize or you can put all those phases in one go phase is equal to these phase 1 2 or 3 comma separated value and then you can say patches is equal to you can apply one patch or multiple patches in that patch cycle then you specify parameters and will come or will cover those in subsequent lessons what these parameters are or you can specify a input file in which you specify all these options and let odop pick it from the input file again i'm going to show you in the upcoming lessons with an example on what you do in this scenario so for example you have three patches and you want to apply all three in one go or you have separate patches you want to apply in different patching cycle or what happens or what to do in this scenario all those will be covered in upcoming lessons now important thing for you to understand 
is this is the key of the patching cycle which I'm going to explain here now. What you see on right hand side is the database part and on the left hand here you see is if application tier file system. In our module one we looked at architecture and I said there's a database tier and application tier. When you apply a patch, patch will have changed the database part or database object as well as file system or file object. Now on right hand side what you see is different additions in the database. Now there is a feature in Oracle database introduced in 11G R2 called addition based redefinition. Assume this nothing but a multiple versions of an object. So you could have addition 1, addition 2, addition 3. So these here on right hand side you called as one is patch addition, run addition and different old additions of the database object. So you have a view and view might have a currently one addition or one version of that view which is currently being used by running application which is represented here. And you can create a, another addition of the same view which we might designate that view or name that view as a patch addition of that database view. And that view might have some old versions or old additions. So this is an example of that. Then you have an application and that application will have two file system. In architecture we covered that this is Oracle eBusiness Suite has a dual file system. And in also in our dedicated module where we look at file system and various environment variables. We looked at that Oracle eBusiness Suite has a dual file system, file system 1 and file system 2 for patching. So you have file system 1 which is currently designated as a run addition. And you have a duplicate of this run addition where we designate as a patch addition. So end users will connect to a running application and that application will talk to or use this run addition of file system and run addition of database patch. Now when you apply a patch on the database side you will be applying patch addition and on the application side you'll be applying the patch to the patch addition side on file system. So database side you're applying the patch addition version of the database side on file system or an application tier you're applying the patch addition side on the patch version of the file system. Once you apply the patch you shut down the middle tier and you are at cutover stage the application tier process are stopped. So if you notice here now application is not running anymore and it's only during that time or for a short period. Now if you see on left hand side the patch switch to run and run, run switch to the patch. So I repeat one more time if you notice here on the left hand side I've shut down the services and now my file system has switched the patch become run and run become a patch. Similarly make a note of on the database side as well. So the patch will become run and the current run will become old. Now the database will come up and application will come up and application will now point or running application will point to the run addition which was earlier patch and the new run addition which was patched recently and users will be able to access. So this is the key highlight of ADOP in that. So this is being supported by two main features. One is dual file system on application tier and the patch additions or addition based redefinition on the database side. So let me do one more recap. So what you have is you have multiple additions on the database side. The run addition will be used by running application and patch addition is where you'll be applying a patch. Similarly on the file system you will have two additions run addition and patch addition. Running application will point to the run while you're applying patch on the patch addition. Once you are at a cutover phase you shut down the application services users disconnect the running application will no more point to any addition. Then your file system will switch on the application tier file system. The database will switch on or patch addition will move to the run and relevant will go to the old addition. And the services come up and services will now talk to the new run on database side, new run on the application side and users connect to the application. This is how 
online patching works in Oracle EBS 12.2 and being supported by two additions that is or two features that is dual file system and the addition based redefinition. What are these two? Let's have a look at those in the next lesson.